Michael, should we be concerned, or is this about time to move on to the future? As Star Wars Eclipse, his lead writer, has left Quantic Dream to start a new studio. Maybe following his own dream. Chris Cullion over at BGC, the lead writer on Star Wars Eclipse, has left to start his own studio. Adam Williams, who joined Quantic Dream in 2015, posted a message on his LinkedIn page, as spotted by the gamer, announcing that he had left the studio and has founded his own. Quote, after almost 10 years at Quantic Dream, I am leaving to fund a new studio together with a group of very talented designers and developers, a quote Williams wrote. Quote, we can't say too much just yet. We are working on something very innovative, very special, and for now, very secret. More on that soon. I've already been in touch with many of you guys at Quantic Dream and Lucasfilm to thank you for everything on Detroit and Eclipse. It's been a great adventure. A big thank you to the team for taking this leap with us and to the investors for being in the ideal partners on the next adventure. More on that also soon. And quote Williams, who was the lead writer on Detroit Become Human and took on the lead role for Star Wars Eclipse in December of 2021. Quantic Dream first announced Star Wars Eclipse during the Game Awards in December 2021, where it was said to be nearly to be in early development. Quote, Star Wars Eclipse is set is the first video game to be set in an uncharted region of the Outer Rim during the High Republic era, known as the Golden Age of the Jedi. And quote the company said at the time, Michael, there's a couple things that come up to mind. One, this could be good because now the story's done. Mm -hmm. Right? That's it. He's done his bit. He's ready to go on. Adam's like, okay, you know what? I've been here. I've done this. I've done two games over here. I want to go make my own studio. Now that I've wrapped up Star Wars Eclipse's role and that whole story is now finished, it's now time for me to move on. How far are we in the game yet? It's still to be determined because nobody knows. Dude, since 2021, it has gone on radio silent. And that kind of is a little concerning because the other side of it too is we've heard Quantic Dream is a bit of a rough studio to work at. The energy there can be somewhat a little daunting, but the management, as it's a little bit more um, not friendly from what we've heard in the past, right? A little mm -hmm. toxic at areas and things like this, so it's a little concerning. But at the end of the day, I think what Quantic Dream has made in the past have been some of my favorite games of all time. Dude, Detroit Become Human, the storytelling in that was absolutely phenomenal. And if Adam was the one who told that story and helped was part of that story anyways to help develop that, I have high hopes for Eclipse. I think Eclipse looked incredible for the little cinematic trailer. That's the part, right? Cinematic trailer. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen anything in game, but here we go, Adam. Happy for him to move on and make his own studio. Like, there's a lot of pride and joy going, hey, man, I'm starting something fresh. Yeah, don't expect to hear it again, though, from Adam. It's 2024. What do we figure? 2029? We might hear something again, right? Like, it's going to be, he's just starting something new. So there's a couple things in the works. But, Michael, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think you basically nailed this, right? Yeah. Assuming that, you know, there's good faith involved from everyone, which you want to assume, there's two things this means. Either one, as you said, the story for Star Wars Eclipse is done, or two, they've hit such a snag in Star Wars Eclipse that they're basically to the point where the story needs to be completely reset, and that's where Adam says, look, if you're going to restart, I already have this vision, I'll leave you so I'm not leaving you in the middle, right? And there's got to be a clean break, you'd assume, for all parties involved for this to make sense. So yeah, either we have the story done and we're gonna get good news, or we've had to reset the game for whatever reason, and he just saw that as an opportunity. Let me leave before I get in partially involved and then end up leaving anyway, because I mean, I'm sure the details behind the scenes for the new company have been there. So yeah, either good news or really bad news. Time will tell. As you said, we haven't seen really anything besides the cinematic on Star Wars Eclipse. And yeah, 2029, probably the next time we'll hear from the studio, I mean, Happy that he's starting it, but it feels like every other day you have a developer who worked on a game you love who says, I'm starting my own studio, and then half of them you never hear from again, and I get it, making a game's tough, so we'll see if we hear from him. As you said, Detroit Become Human was a fantastic game. I hope Star Wars Eclipse is a fantastic game, which could mean whatever Adam works on next is a fantastic game, but all of this radio silence, as we concern, we might just be, uh, you know, 2029 for both Adam and Star Wars Eclipse, which is kind of the direction we might be trending in. 
Yeah, I believe the Torpedo on Human took quite a while for us to get our hands on that one, right? But, mm -hmm. man, as I said, when it did come out, the story there was absolutely insane. Man. The, the twists and turns. It was one of those games that was like a water cooler moment. Hey, I made it here. What happened to you? What did you do? And then mm -hmm. I tell my story, right? It was always back and forth. I remember it was Steve. Steve lost one of his characters early on, like super early <laughs> on. I'm like, what did you do? And it was, I'm like, man, my, I, I had him right till the end kind of scenario, right? And then other things played out and spoilers, my little girl got shot with a shotgun at the airport. It was bad. It was real, dude, I was about to cross. I was, I was wrapping up and it just, boo! Oh my god, oh no, oh no. But it's one of those, Right? So then you talk about your impression and your feelings at that moment as you've carried this little girl with you this whole time and you find out what's happened there and how my ending went. But there's so many different endings that you never know who's going to get what. And I'm hoping that that's the same thing for Eclipse. I'm hoping it's done, wrapped up, and mm -hmm. we're going to start hearing something soon. Gamecom is, man, Gamescom is just around the corner. I just don't really think it's ready to hear anything yet, but my fingers are crossed. We want to hear from you. ITGTV.com. Are you excited for Eclipse? And well, good luck to Adam. <laughs>